The trailer for Avengers Endgame confirmed something most of us had already assumed. Tony Stark's journey back to Earth won't be simple. Robert Downey Jr.'s character was seen floating aimlessly in space, accepting the fact that he would die in the distant cosmos. Of course, his MCU journey may come to an end in the fourth Avengers movie, but it won't be alone in space. Tony Stark will definitely make it home to fight another day. In this video, we'll theorize how that might happen. Hey, can all you genius billionaire playboy and playgirl philanthropists out there please remember to hit the subscribe button? It's the best way to keep up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new videos. At the end of Avengers Infinity War, we knew Tony Stark was in a nasty predicament. He'd made the active decision to stow away on Ebony Maw's ship on his journey back to Titan, knowing that he might not make it home. The fate of the universe was at stake, and Stark was prepared to take that risk to try and stop Thanos from getting his hands on all six Infinity Stones. When Mantis, Drax, Star-Lord, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange turned to dust when the Mad Titan ultimately snapped his fingers to erase half of all life in the universe, Stark was only left with Nebula for company. Billions of miles from home. While we don't know if she's currently with him, what we do know is that he's in a seemingly hopeless situation, floating aimlessly in space with no food or water, and with oxygen running desperately low. But he will make it home, we're sure of that. So how might that happen? We have a few theories. One theory that might confuse a few people is that Doctor Strange will save Stark. Now, Strange appeared to turn to dust at the end of Avengers Infinity War, but given that he gave the Time Stone away to save Tony Stark's life, it's fairly clear that he knew Stark was important in defeating Thanos going forward. Maybe, therefore, he faked his own death and cast an illusion to make it look like he died so he could go off radar for a while in order to plan a counterattack on the Mad Titan. Wouldn't it be cool if Stark was on the verge of death only for a magic portal to open in front of him leading from his spaceship directly back to Earth? The most common theory, however, at least prior to the Avengers Endgame trailer, was that Brie Larson's Captain Marvel will be the one who saves him. Having received a message sent by Nick Fury in the post credit scene of Avengers Infinity War, or Carol Danvers will definitely be heading to Earth, where she'll meet up with the surviving heroes of the MCU. When they inform her that Stark is missing, she might head towards Titan to see if anyone is alive. Given that the ability to fly through space is one of her many powers, Bruce Banner would obviously know that Stark, Peter Parker, and Doctor Strange had gone there after their fight with Ebony Maw and Cull Obsidian in New York, so he might ask her to do that. Danvers could then stumble across Stark's ship and save him before he dies, then bring him back to his home planet. Of course, there's another character character, one who Stark is more familiar with, who has the ability to travel through space. And that's Thor. The Asgardian God of Thunder will know Stark is missing, and having reconvened with the surviving Avengers, Bruce Banner could ask him to retrieve Stark from space. In the exact same way that Thor himself was rescued from a gloomy space predicament by the Guardians of the Galaxy in Avengers Infinity War, he could do the same favor for Stark and bring him back to Earth to take part in the fight of his life. Since the release of the Avengers Endgame trailer, however, the most popular theory is that none other than Pepper Pepper Potts will rescue her soulmate from his worrying cosmic situation. In the comic books, Potts has been a superhero in her own right, donning Iron Man-style armors and going by various supernames, including the name Rescue. Now in the trailer, Potts was very much the focal point of the scenes in which we saw Tony Stark. He recorded a message for her using the technology inside his Iron Man helmet, telling her he'd be dreaming of her when he ran out of oxygen and drifted off. He also used the word rescue when he suggests that he had zero chance of rescue, which certainly feels like a hint, especially when you consider how often MCU movies have foreshadowed future events in subtle ways. Could it be that in her desperation, Pepper Potts puts on one of Stark's armors, perhaps a prototype space armor he was in the middle of building before he left Earth, and jets off into the cosmos to rescue the love of her life? It's certainly a possibility, and it would undoubtedly be very cool to see. Marvel Studios love to surprise us, however, so now we come to some less likely theories. But they're theories that we certainly shouldn't rule out. The Avengers Endgame trailer made a point of showing us that Shuri was missing, along with characters we already knew were missing like Scott Lang and Peter Parker. And that was something of a surprise given that Black Panther actress Angela Bassett recently said Shuri had survived the snap, along with her own character Ramonda. But that could have been misdirection. Marvel Studios are known to deceive us with their trailers. Look no further than the Avengers Infinity War trailer, which showed the the Hulk fighting in Wakanda for proof of that. If Shuri is in fact alive, there's a theory that she could be the one who brings Tony Stark back to Earth. She's a technological genius. And in Avengers Infinity War, some of the tech she'd created in Wakanda was able to detect Thanos' minions entering Earth's atmosphere. Perhaps in Avengers Endgame, she'll create some tech that can detect where Tony Stark is, and ultimately send out some tech to bring him home. Some people believe Stark and Shuri will work alongside each other in the laboratories of Wakanda in Avengers Endgame, and having 
helping her save him from this awful predicament would certainly be a good way to start the relationship. But there could be an even bigger surprise. Stark's savior could come in the form of a character who hasn't yet been introduced in the MCU. Maybe Nova, Beta Ray Bill, or even Adam Warlock, whose name we heard in the final credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, will see Stark's ship on their travels through space, then take him back to Earth to fight another day. Regardless of who saves him, we can't wait to see Tony Stark back on Earth, reunited with the likes of Steve Rogers, Bruce Banner, and of course Pepper Potts, and eager to get his revenge on the prune-chinned warlord who stabbed him in the stomach and killed half of his friends. How do you think Tony Stark will get back to Earth in Avengers Endgame? Do you think any of these theories will end up being correct? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos like this one. See you next time!